Good evening, everybody. I'd like to thank you all for coming out. And I'd like uh, to thank Remy Kanazi, special thanks to Remy Kanazi, for all the mentoring that he did, the hard work, and all the patience. And I'd like to thank, um, and I'd like also to thank everyone who's affiliated with the Palestine Writing Workshop for giving us this chance. And of course, I'd like to express how humble I feel to be among, like I'm honored to be among such extremely talented uh, emerging poets. Um, this piece is dedicated to all the guys that go through the checkpoints and all the humiliation of the checkpoints. Let's go. <laughs> As I enter a concealed area, a place that is not documented in the history book, a room that is hidden, that I'm entering only for detainment. All I see around me are green glad men. I'm pushed into room one. A gloved guy asked me to strip off all my clothes. I hesitate, but eventually I accept, because we're used to humiliation. His hands move up my legs slowly. Is he sexually harassing me? Cause he even grabbed my crotch. As I felt his hand squeezing my ass, I just wanted to squeeze his head, smash it across the wall. But even though I can, I knew I couldn't. But even though I can, I knew I couldn't. As they shove me into room two, there's a pause on the way. They leave me planted in my place. A picture of me, they take. They claiming they'll be uploading this picture to the internet. They're laughing and I'm eternally erupting. I just wanted to smash the camera, destroy it, rip it into pieces. I wanted, I wanted, I wanted to smash their heads and force them into my boxing bag. But even though I can, I knew I couldn't. But even though I can, I knew I couldn't. I'm forced into room two, as this four is something jerk and spared in my arrival. He introduces himself by a fake Arabic name. He's eager to know which town I grew up in, which school I went to, university I went. He wants to know all my, all my friends' names, all my life events and activities. And me? I reply back coldly. He wants to know all my life aspirations, if I have any political relations. And me? I respond dispassionately. I do not even look him in the eye. He disapproves of my behavior. His anger is simmering. He's trying his best to withhold it. He confronts me on my body language. And then he foolishly imitates me. But he, he can't face me. Cause for humans like him, I feel no sympathy. He types down every single word to utter on his damn computer screen. The screen frame, I just wanted to plant it on his neck so he feel the pain of imprisonment, so he never cynically laugh at me again. But even though I can, I knew I couldn't. But even though I can, I knew I couldn't. He persists with his manipulation, but I'm stubborn head. He finally gives up, surrenders, and releases me. On my way back home, all I'm thinking is, even though I could, I knew I wouldn't. Even though I could, I knew I wouldn't. Thank you.